Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how to use page XML queries to improve our Power Automate flow. Actually, page XML queries in uh, Power Automate flow uh, with the help of Power Automate flow, it will significantly reduce our execution time when we actually dealing with the large amount of data. So let's see. So as you can see, I'm already logging into Dynamics 255, and first we'll try to create a page XML query. So it's pretty much easy. Uh, you just need to go to the your views. And from your views, uh, define first you create your own custom whatever the fields that you need to have it to the uh, it to, uh, that you need. So just get, got those fields only. So from here you can get those fields. Uh, right now in my flow, I have I only need opportunity name, ID, account, and some other useful things. So I'm done with that. And from here, as you can see, we already have this option. So click on this option, and it simply downloads the query uh, into the XML. So let me open that file. So I already have this XML file. So let me copy this. And now I will need to move into the our Power Automate flow. So as you can see, I have already moved into the Power Automate flow. Let me delete and show you again. And from here, uh, I will need to uh, go with the Dataverse Connect, Dataverse Trigger. So I'm clicking this trigger. Uh, and then we go to the action. From here, what we are trying to do, we need to just retrieve the, all the opportunity records is with the help of our automated flow. So for this operation, I will choose list of rows. We are primarily adding to provide the table name. Yeah, so I will go with the opportunity. And actually, if you click on this advanced option, so it will use it n number of options where we can optimize our query. So we can have only selected fields to be shown. Or we can apply our filter. Uh, we can also have sorting options is available. So there is a various other options that are available. Uh, but right now for this query, we are only going to see the page XML query. So let me copy this again. And I will need to just click on here and it will be saved. As you can see in my page XML, what it has, it will have opportunity, date code, owner ID, actual value, parent account ID, this account ID, as well as so the late, meaningful important fields that I want. To retrieve the information, and now uh, I will need to again. I will just go for JSON and this RPC for machine image. So now let's go and test uh, is there our fetch XML query really working in Power Automate right now. So I will load this manual, click on run flow, and run, and boom, yeah, I can this will within a second of time my flow got executed. So let's uh, see the step each and every step. So let's see the list of rows, so which actually is not over there, and now it retrieves the red rows. Let's see the raw output. So in the raw output, you can see status for 200, and in the body, I have all the all limited fields, all of the subsystem fields in this flow. So it's properly executed. And let's check the JSON response. So yeah, in the JSON response, let me again click on the raw output. Yeah, in the JSON response, I converted into a JSON. So as you can see, uh, I can even filter filter the limited fields with the help of flow. If, if suppose I don't use that uh, power of uh, those page XML query, so what happens? So it will bring all the all the fields, all the uh, other fields from the uh, opportunity, and that and that uh, slow slow down my execution process. I and I don't want to that. And to be good practices, always go with the limited field. That's why I choose page XML query because within a click, I will I don't need to write any query of query over here. Just click the click of time, I can go to retrieve the page XML and use that page XML in the form. So that's a very useful thing for us. So if you like this video, uh, if you uh, so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and more content I will use. It actually helps me to bring some more content into this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much guys.